All right, so uh, I quickly wanted to share something that I found in Resolve that I think allows you to get really accurate control over your subject and background without having to use masks in the traditional sense or um, the uh, magic mask, which my computer's kind of old, so uh, magic mask takes kind of a long time. It's pretty resource, resource intensive. Uh, and have it up here. This is my friend Josh. He's an amazing um, business consultant and uh, all around great guy. And um, so what that is, it, you can ignore everything in here. This is, I, this, I just opened a project, but um, it is the depth map OFX. So you'll find it in, let's find a blank one. Um, it is, these are all favorited obviously, but uh, I, I'm going to guess that this is in studio only, but I don't know for sure. Right here, depth map under resolve, refine depth map. So what it does is it using magic, um, intelligently finds the depth of your subject. Um, and I'm sure there's maybe a different reason for this, that this exists, but this is how I use it. So, um, I'm going to turn it on and as you can see with the preview turned on, it has now given me a mask of the person. Now there's nothing else in the frame, but it will gradiate, if that's a word, backward. So if there was a few things that were kind of in the, um, you know, between him and the background, the, you would see them start to get grayer and grayer until it went to black. Um, and so this is a mask, right? And you can see this mask is brought over here via the blue thingamajig. Um, and so what I used to do, like I think many of us have probably done, is you would maybe take a um, mask like this and, you know, uh, uh, just do your subject's face or whatever. And you, maybe you still need to do that for certain things. Um, but what I tend to find, now this was, uh, I shot this pretty well, my, uh, if I do say so myself. So there isn't a lot of work here, but I'll just show you what you could do. So you turn that on and you turn off the preview because you don't need it. Um, and then by making an outside node, which would be Alt O or probably what's it on Mac, uh, option O, make an outside node, right click, uh, add node outside. There you go. And now you can make adjustments only to your subject. This is, like I said, my computer's kind of slow. But uh, if we ratchet that up, you can see it's only really affecting him. The background is getting a touch of, whoa, touch of work because it is, um, oh, I'm also running OBS. So normally things aren't this slow. But as you can see, it's, it's really only tagging him. So let's say we wanted him one stop up and we wanted the background, uh, I don't know, black and white. Maybe we don't want him one stop up. That's uh, like I said, I shot this pretty good. So, um, or maybe, I don't know, maybe, so that's kind of interesting. Or maybe we want him to be um, unsaturated for some dumb reason. Uh, and we want the background to be uh, blue. You know, come on, get there. You can do it. <laughs> don't run OBS. <laughs> in 4k <laughs> um yeah that's fun oh because i set saturation there there we go so now he should be saturated and the background is blue or freaking green except it's desaturated um and maybe brighter i don't know but it just it just creates a very accurate mask um, around your subject. And so for interview stuff like this, or even narrative where you need to affect your subject differently than your background, this is such an easy way to do it. You know, a classic one, what's his face? The wandering DP. Um, he talks about the squeeze and drop, which is, we'll reset this, um, which is where you take the background and in the, uh, I don't know if he's still talking, this is something he mentioned a while ago, but you would um, lower the contrast and then lower the offset. Um, so let's do that here. And that looks kind of silly because I've absolutely creamed it. But um, 
let's wait for it to figure out we're almost there guys trust me oh boy having an old computer really now if you have like a newer computer i, I built this computer in 2017 so this this is actually faster and like i said obs is taking up a lot of resources um what if i go way down well that there there we go um that's something you know maybe that you the very dramatic look that you're looking for you know this is the after here's the before and then back to the after you know maybe that is maybe that's what you're looking for i don't know the again this i kind of like the way it was shot initially i'm just showing you the tool um so if you ever need to affect your subject and your background separately, which I think most of us do all the time, the depth map tool um, is very powerful and uh, uh, very useful, and I highly recommend it. So there you go. There's your tip, and I uh, hope that helps you out.